Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and welcome to the New Earth community. My channel is Divine Sis Dream Walker and you can find my details in the description box below. Check that out. This is going to be your collective energy tarot love reading. What's happening with you and your person currently. So take what resonates, okay? We're going to see what's happening with you guys, what you need to know. And if you like this video and want to buy my services, you can um, go to my channel. The information is in the description box down below this video. Okay, guys? Let's see what's happening with your person. We'll get some advice and what tools is suggested and also some messages from your person okay what's going on here okay so we have the three of pentacles, ace of swords, the emperor, knight of wands, ten of wands. We have the death card and the king of wands. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm getting this is your person's energy. Okay, the divine masculine. So it's what is what I'm getting here is for you to step more into your masculine energy where you are stepping into your masculine energy. All right, I'm going to clarify some things if I need to with these cards, but I just like to shuffle as I'm, you know, picking up on what the energy is with the cards. All right, so with the three of pentacles here, this is talking about collaboration. Okay, you and your person um, being a team, you and your person being a team, as you're individually doing your thing, your person is individually doing what he or she needs to do some clarity that he or she is getting about this teamwork effort with you. I feel like this is cutting out the behavior of your person being the Knight of Wands energy, okay? This person has been in and out. Um, there's been a lot of things that you and your person have experienced with this uh, connection and where things was casual, I do f feel that your person was they were in control of how they felt okay your person they like to be in control because they're the divine masculine and this is about your masculine energy you being in control of your world and what it is that you want the death card is under the emperor so yeah your person have this power struggle which they have some insecurities of how he or she has been behaving and they know that this is something that they have to be honest with themselves about. So at this time, they're working on those insecurities. It's also more pointing towards you where you, um, you know, in the physical, where you want this connection to work with your person, you know, it is uh, uh, for you to connect more with other like-minded people, which you can do that in the Facebook group that this community has. Right, connecting with other like-minded people because I, I I get that you're wanting to learn more about this connection within your person or where you have been learning more about this connection and that's something that's good, okay? Because I do feel like it's you connecting more with your truth, you being enlightened about the twin flame journey, you know, getting honest and clear about your intentions and what it is that you want, where you want to be in control of your world. Right, I feel like this is more of you stepping into your masculine energy where your person is being taught to connect more with how they truly feel. Now, it doesn't take away from you nurturing and you understanding your feelings, but more moving towards your masculine energy, knowing thyself. This has been a burden for you and your person. But this is what is showing you. If you have been casual with your person and you haven't been put in the effort to be this team player, then you're trying to control this connection, which is these insecurities that you have of your own power struggles. Your person simply, they simply just trigger you being in your truth, okay? 
you being in your truth, aligning with your truth, your core values, and what it is you truly want. You want to cut out this in and out behavior of this person um, back and forthing, right? So you need to create more healthy boundaries for you. Looking at things from a positive perspective, as well as rebuilding a new frame of mind when it comes to what it is you want to build or create. The person... Here, showing up as the king of wands because I'm getting four people. I'm getting four people here, right? Your person is, is they're trying to work some things out. This is what the divine is doing, trying to work some things out with the person with the death card. But I am also getting uh, uh, picking up four people. Keep in mind that this is a collective. So some of you may be still seeing your person as a burden and you may be speaking up for yourself you know, taking back control and your person is finding that he or she does not want to, um, you know, be that burden for you. They're wanting to drop these burdens, but they're just not sure where things are going because they have been in this uh, behavior of the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is not so bad, but if this person has been casual with you, they haven't been serious and they just been more wanting to have fun with you. You know, they come off as charming. Um, you know, that's just them being a free spirit. That's them, you know, just really trying to figure out who or, 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 who or how they want to settle down, where they really want to fully commit. Because I do feel like for some of you, where they have been casual, they are moving more into this king of wands. So if there's no communication, yeah, this is them. You know, wanting to be more, you know, free, wanting to be happy. You know, they have a enthusiastic spirit here, all right? Because they are wanting to plan things. You know, when your person put their mind to something, they actually do it. They actually take action on that. So they, too, understand their, their, their passion for life and whatever it is he or she wants to build or create. Understanding thyself. But knowing that their behavior was something that they needed to, um, you know, end, cut out, okay? They, they needed to transform their life. And I feel like that's where your person is transforming their life from this Knight of Wands to this King of Wands. Now, if your person, if this is still uh, a burden for you and you just can't find no clarity about it because you're really trying to figure things out and how you can work with your person, this is about you gaining a new perspective, a new mindset, a new frame of mind, being in your truth and not seen as literally working with your person. You both individually are doing the inner work, okay? You do the inner work with following your bliss. You're here to learn how to master oneself and you're learning from someone that's teaching you. You could be working on the programs because what it's helping you to do is align with your truth. Cut out this behavior of the back and forth. You being casual, that's something I feel like you're being guided to step more into your power. In your power, stop being casual, okay? Commit to this journey of what it is that you want so as you are understanding your transformation in an old cycle, it's more of you stepping into this power of your masculine energy, taking back control, you working on any insecurities, which is allowing you to raise your vibration and changing this mindset of how you want to move things forward and not seeing it as a burden. Because I feel like you've been... You know, you've been thinking to yourself lately, your person has been mistreating you. In all actuality, yeah, if they're not taking the appropriate action steps and they're kidding around and they're not, you know, showing you or even inviting you to parents, this is if you've been with their person for a while. I mean, yeah, it's time to set those healthy boundaries for yourself and focus more on you so this person will know that you are serious. I feel like this person, with their power struggle within themselves, they have come to an understanding that this was a burden and they're willing to put that behind them. They're willing to end that. They've gone through this cycle where they are transforming to connect more with their true authentic self, 
wanting to rise above what has been weighing them down, where they know that they have been mistreated in their life. Also, you know, been mistreating you. This is something your person really wants to express themselves about. They want to be that provider. They want to be fair. They want to be a firm leader. And they're trying to really, you know, come out of their old ways of how they've been doing things. Right? So if you've been, you know, working on yourself and what you've been understanding with this Ace of Swords is showing you that this truth you're aligning with is bringing you clarity and also how you are... Um, going to understand communicating with your person. If you don't know how to communicate with your person, I mean, it's more than communication, guys. It goes deeper than that, right? Because, you know, it was some negative, old toxic patterns, behaviors you and your person had. So, you know, it was, uh, it was time for you guys to really sort that out and how you actually wanted to bring things together. Because I do feel like, this was allowing you to recognize why things wasn't moving forward and how you really want to set this goal of understanding your connection, communicating with your person, you stepping in a higher vibe of you taking back control and being in control of your life, making these changes. And I do see that your person sees this as an opportunity to fight for this connection and what they want with you. They're not sure where things are going, but if there's no communication, it's like your person is trying to plan things out. For some of you, your person, um, you know, they're still trying to, um, you know, figure things out where he or she has suffered from some emotional or sexual abuse. And this is not for you to go and tell them because honestly, this is about how you are understanding your truth, where you have been mistreated. Where you haven't been connecting with more genuine, like-minded people, such as yourself, where you know that you can speak your truth, you want to be expressive, you want to help others, that is part of your purpose. And you understanding this connection, being committed to learn and understand of what you're releasing and transforming, this is something that's raising your vibration. Right, feeling enthusiastic about it, wanting to be your true authentic self. Uh, for some of you, you know, as I'm picking up these four people's energy, you know, uh, some of you are still trying to understand, you know, why your person has been in and out, or you know, why do they, um, you know, have this behavior of uh, say they, they, they're still trying to be casual with you, they still have someone. Um, hanging around you're trying to understand that more and yeah you want to understand that because this is an experience that you too have experienced you right you have experience which they reflect that to you where you were unable to at a time to commit to the things that you wanted to do be stable in your life and this is some confidence that you're trying to gain of what clarity you're trying to um you know receive here with this uh connection now, I want to clarify the burdens, dropping the burdens, getting some truth, wanting to communicate and express their, their self to you. Feeling They're feeling very happy to do this. I'm, I'm getting here with the Knight of Wands because the Ten of Wands is behind your person. It's like their passion, their desire to be their true authentic self and stand up for what they want. Okay, they are the magician here, so... Yeah, it's like this person is recognizing where they have been manipulated. They have been working a lot. They have been putting others' needs before them. This is people-pleasing, okay? And guys, um, if you uh, struggle with that, and this has to do with your beliefs, you know, wanting to make the family happy, you know, going against yourself, you're resisting um, making these changes and feeling like your person is you know, not able to make the right decisions. And this is why they have been casual back and forth. It's something you're understanding and learning so you could then transform that, all right? Because this is about you transforming your life where your person is stepping up to the plate, wanting to tr transform their life from their negative old patterns and behaviors, their ways of doing things, right? 
wanting to take things seriously at this time. <clears throat> For some of you, I do feel like your person uh, will tell you how they feel, but they will not go into the depths of it. Trying to gain the strength to come towards you. I want to clarify the death card. So something is ending and something new to begin. And that's the thing, okay? Um, how we connect more with our internal and our emotions, okay? Right? <laughs> Why they've been holding back. They're going through a transformation. And this is about you from the four of pentacles to the three of pentacles. Why you've been holding back. So there were some things that you were unable to express where you were trying to connect more with your your internal of speaking your truth, learning about your truth. It was allowing you to recognize uh, more of this clearer perspective with what you needed to work on and, and cut out, right? Some of you were feeling reluctant where you, you, you know, at, at the moment you don't feel like this is possible with you and this person. Listen, allow things to unfold. That's the art of allowance. You learn more about that in the Master and a Child program. As you learn to connect more of these dots with your true inner self, speaking your truth, gaining a new mindset, what you are understanding to then release so you can transform that. Uh, here in this figure, in a, excuse me, in the physical with your person is allowing you to recognize more of this clarity within yourself and this connection where you're stepping more into this masculine energy. Let's get some advice with um, what you need to know here. I could be working on, right? This is the uh, Moonology deck, guys. So let's see what's going on. Uh, some of you feel like you're not really uh, showing your emotions to your person. It's like you're holding back because you want them to be more in their truth and, you know, say how they feel. That's what I'm getting. A win-win outcome is forecast. So there's some sort of balancing out your person is doing here for themselves and for you where you're understanding things. And for some of you who have children, you're understanding this new mindset you're gaining so you could then teach them. They are the next generation and very, very important where we had to go through this experience, which we will then teach our children, we will teach kids, we will teach our cousins, we will teach the next generation. So it's massive. This is massive here, okay? Full moon in Libra. This is massive. You know, this is understanding what you're releasing, what you're letting go of. You know, when it talks about the full moon, it's more of having gratitude and appreciation, okay? What you're understanding and learning from someone who is enlightened on this journey, you know, is, is very important that you understand you're a master teacher because you're teaching your person how to love you. You are learning how to love you. So we're always evolving. We're always evolving. And this is you and being enlightened by someone who is enlightened, which is teaching you about life, which is teaching you about the tree of life, Right. Capricorn and Mars here, this energy. You're very determined to learn. You like to um, be open to new knowledge and wisdom, right? Knowing about self. So this is something that's teaching you about your own personal growth as well as what's happening here in the connection with your person. Let's get some um, advice from upstairs, them lot. Guys, if you like this deck of cards that I'm using, you can um, check it out on a New Earth community with Sophia and get these cards. They are great. They are great. Okay. It will help you more on this Twin Flame journey and what you can work on. All right. All right. Forgiveness. You have not fully forgiven someone or even yourself. To forgive is releasing master program. So we want to understand as we're going through this transformation or have gone through this transformation, for many of us, we're always evolving. So we're always processing information, right? Learning how to forgive. And I feel like that's what many of you have been working on, being more in your truth, wanting uh, your person to be honest, you know, open up to you, but be in my, uh, keep in mind, guys, we're trying to create a safe space for ourselves as well as our person.
this is our partner who we're choosing to be with okay and i say we because this is how i connect with you guys because i too work on these programs so forgiveness is in the master program right where we may be trying to defend ourselves or where we are trying to step more into our purpose learning and acknowledging this process see it's very important we do the work and we uh you know write our notes because we can go back to our notes and figure out where we may be feeling um neglected or rejected by a person if they're not communicating with us you know it allows us to connect more to where we have been feeling abandoned in our life growing up these are traumas that we are healing so it, this is massive i'm getting for you guys with the ace of swords it's a new opportunity with what you're trying to understand and forgive yourself about forgive others we don't forget but you know how we transform that negative um mentality or that negative experience we have the ability to transmute that into something more positive right and this is also about um you know forgiving your person as well because they don't intentionally try to hurt you and you don't intentionally try to hurt them it's just things in our subconscious this is what we're trying to uh you know bring to the forefront to be aware consciously of the decisions our intentions and the choices that we make when it comes to how we're loving ourselves and teaching someone how to love us right so that's something good i'm getting here ready to drop these burdens right so it's very important you understand how you are treating yourself right because i do feel like your person takes on a lot and you may not know that i know you may want to be with them but they take on a lot because that's who they are but at the same time putting their needs and wants last is not something that's settling with your person and they're fighting back they're fighting back Okay, whatever situation you guys may be facing, they're moving more into this uh, magician, being isolated, wanting to manifest what they really want, right? So they're gaining more power and clarity in how he or she wants to create and take back control in their life. You are a master teacher, master the esoteric teachings of tarot and alternative healing. Now that's what the programs help you to do finding other alternative healing suggestions with how you can have the resources and tools dealing with your personal situation you get more insight and clarity through the image reading and guys um definitely with you being a master teacher here and learning this enlightenment of how you live on this earthly plane the philosophy of life how we're moving more into our power working on some things is teach you're learning from the esoteric teachings tarot these are tools these are tools you have been preparing your whole life for something that you really want and this is what these natural forces is doing to help you the natural laws are implemented in these programs to show you how you do things naturally how you embrace your true abundance it doesn't always mean money anything that it is that you want you have the ability to step more into that power imagine it and go for it but if you're doing it from a negative mindset then you're going to attract more negative things because you're not dealing with any issue that you have suppressed in the subconscious so things that do come up and you get triggered that something good is something good i want you guys to hear that that's something good because it's only unleashing and um showing you more it's giving you a more clear uh insight of how you feel so you can sit with that emotion and then transmute it to something positive you're here to teach others so this is you learning that's what i'm getting you're learning right so this is about you being your authentic self learning to connect more with the cosmic energy right um we we do look to the planets the stars um you know tarot this is the esoteric teachings there's a lot of hidden knowledge here in this um you know esoteric that we are not aware of so stop holding back on yourself or even limiting yourself to what it is you don't know because many are afraid of what they don't know but you don't know until you take that leap of faith and you learn for yourself listening to other people is simply you just listening you're just listening you don't learn that way you take action to do so stepping more into your power here right 
I do feel like your person, that's what he or she is doing, right? Standing up for what he or she wants. Working on this people pleasing. So master program is what's suggested. Go over that if you have that. Guys, where you purchase the master or the sex mastery program with myself, you'll get the twin flame program for free. Okay. So let's see these two. Let's see what your person is thinking, feeling, what they want you to know and they don't tell you, right? I run out of fear that you will see the real me. And I feel like this is you stepping more into the true you. Your person is learning how to remove that mask to be their authentic self. So they're learning how to balance things out, uh, you know, within themselves and how they're mastering things in their life. I do feel like your person, um, you know, where they are 3D and wanting to create and build things, this person that builds things, they, they're wanting to be that leader. They want to provide for themselves as well as you, right? So it's showing them, you know, where they have been in a job and they know that they create, they, they can create more. They want to be an entrepreneur. This is something he or she is, excuse me, stepping more into that mindset, getting clarity about that. Um, for those of you, mission, you can reach out to myself or Lorraine. Okay. Mission is important. You, you guys know at this point you're here for mission. All right. So this is about you stepping into that masculine energy. You wanting to be an entrepreneur. You wanting to work for yourself, you know, financially educate yourself, be in the know of your income and being in control of that. It is important that you understand that. It is important, right? It allows you to take back your power and be in control of what it is that you want rather than someone else telling you how much you should make, how much you are worthy of, what your value is. No, you be in control. I am trying to stop fighting how I feel about you. So yeah, that's something that he or she was resisting with this uh, Knight of Wands. It's like a power struggle. I'm just going to say that. A power struggle for them, but um, they're, they're getting the gist of it, guys. This magnetism between us drives me insane. Something that he or she wants to express to you. So they are taking some time. If there's no communication, it's like uh, this person, they're planning. You're not going to know. They're, they're planning things, right? Trying to put things in perspective. I have never felt this way before. I run as I don't know how to deal with it. Some of you may be still running away from your person, not dealing with the situation and still trying to control things. But if you keep doing that, you're going to delay your union with this person. Okay. They are getting the pull to you. They are getting the pull to you. So this is about how you're transforming things and how you are changing this mindset of staying optimistic and enthusiastic about what you feel motivated to do. If you struggle with that, Book your image reading, okay, guys? And also check out the counseling. Now, I'm going to leave this here. This person is getting the pull to you. They may be trying to stop fighting how they feel about you, but this is intense where they know they have a lot of passion and they feel so much for you. So they're trying to balance things out, trying to be strong. It's try they're trying to be strong. They're the masculines. You, stop holding back on yourself. Stop delaying your union to move things forward. This person does want to express something to you, but it will be in due time. So trust in this divine time and what's happening for you and this person. Guys, if you like this video and you want to buy my services, you can go to my channel, Divine Sis Dream Walker. My information is in the description box down below. And I hope that this was beneficial for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.